var sheets done. What was created as well was um, a CSV file, right? So open up your CSV file. After you open the CSV file, first thing you're going to want to do is delete this first column for now. And again, you got to notice that there was only two rows sent over to the CSV. I have no idea why this happens, um, but real quick fix. You go to the Excel sheet that you have and you see all your rows. So you, on the far left, click, hold, and drag down. And you can quickly make sure that you're not missing any VARs, right? You have everything highlighted. Right click and copy. Go to the VARs.csv. And on column two, right click and paste. Or I usually just hit control V. And there you have it. All the all the VARs, all the variations are there and they're still correct. Okay. So now we want to you can hit save and yes and then click column A and then right click and click on insert and what you want to do is to you gotta put in your menu and root and you're gonna have the what is it the left less than sign the bracket over the comma three times capital menu hit enter and then capital root <clears throat> save it yes and you're done with the CSV file. You can just X out, don't save, that's fine. You can save your Excel sheet, and you're done with that file. Now we need to create our profile. So we open up Moji Pro. Let's grab everything. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the previous profile created because it has my FTP and every, all the information in there already. Um, but I'm just going to grab the correct files that we just had, right? So we're going to go to desktop, colton2, grab that index file, and go to desktop, colton2, grab that vars.csv file. And I'm still going to want to put it in colton. If I wanted to change this, and I can go to where it's at, um, Moji Pro, demo runs. And I can make a new folder called Colton2, right? And choose there and put all my Colton2 runs inside of there. More organization, the better you organize, the easier it is to find stuff later down the road. I'm still uploading it to the same website. I'm just going to put it in a different folder now. I'll put it in 3 test because I changed my URL up there. I need to change my URL down here. 3 test. And FTP is the same, and password's the same. And I will save as desktop in Colton2. I'm going to create a new folder called profile, and I will name this index Colton2 and save. Now, because I loaded it, I don't want to lose my URL structure there either. Um, ah, whatever, I'll just lose it, no big deal. But also get this error, the domain menu and project, I forgot to put that in there. So uh, let's put that in there real quick. File open, uh, Colton 2 index. And in the description, we'll quickly put bracket, percent, capital menu, percent, close bracket. And I'm going to have domain and project, because I don't actually have um any real paths I'm only going to change it to be actually no I will change this so let's change this to make it universal so everywhere it says source or excuse me everywhere it says underscore all files that's where my images my CSS sheets all that stuff is at so I'm gonna grab the bracket underscore all files I'm gonna copy that control C and then find Everywhere I see that, I want to change it to, um, it's going to be quote, and I'm going to change it to domain, so bracket percent capital domain percent close bracket, and the, the slash underscore all files. So. For example, you're going to see source equals quote domain 
slash underscore all files and it'll continue on. Now what that does is the domain gets grabbed from OG Pro right here and that's what's gonna put it's gonna make me able to use this particular template on any domain that I want you know so what we shall do is click on top find next and we will replace and that's correct that's correct that's correct it's great and it's done I will save oops I gotta close Moji Pro uh, sure and then I will save now this is all good to go I've got my domain I've got my menu now I need my project and again just like last time I'll just grab a keyword we'll grab uh, plumbing right so plumbing and we will make a link out of that with bracket percent domain percent close bracket slash open bracket percent project percent close bracket and click up here and you'll see it created the link a space href equals quote domain project quote and then plumbing is the anchor text and close it off with an A and you see it made a link there so now I meet all the criteria that Moji Pro requires of me so let's load that profile that's safe we'll load up index colon 2 I'm gonna re-grab the index page okay and I'm gonna save and hit next no error so I'm gonna do my um, root ID uh, emergency call hour skill technicians handle any so I just created a quick URL structure we'll do ID in there dash dash create a folder uh, very skilled plumbers handle emergency dot HTML uh, I will save this colon 2 profile index yeah I want to replace it I'm gonna do 50 pages upload it to three tests that should be perfectly fine I'm a process now that this is processed I want to go over to my FTP and make sure that it got loaded correctly, right? So I already logged in and I want to go into the Colton folder because that's where it's at. And three test. And boom, there's my pages. That looks good. So we'll go to URL and Colton neighborhoodplumbers.com slash three test. Hit enter. And you can see that everything is here. Uh, have a broken image so I have to see what happened I can right click open image in new tab I see that it put this link so I came to my index page and found that I missed a source which is this image right here so it's this one highlighted it and image source equals quote and I did not see it when I was doing my find and replace um, the slash underscore all files didn't have this slash so it looked like this as we said image source quote underscore all files and if you remember correctly I was searching for slash underscore all files so that's why I, couldn't, I didn't see it um, all I have to do is hit put the domain slash in there and it grabs the domain I can even rerun this right and it will fix and that's usually why I'll run 50 pages even when I'm doing a regular site I'll do 50 pages or so test them out make sure everything's working correctly and then after I know for sure that all the bugs are, are fixed and tweaked then I'll go ahead and run out the big run and as you can see I just refresh the page and there's the image and look at this everything looks great right let's go to um, two test and on um, two test this is where we did the import web page okay it's very good we can see right away that my buttons are jacked up up top right the other stuff that I didn't want to happen we have a lot of spacing that I would still have to go in and tweak here everything's perfectly fine boom everything matches the way I want it to match there's nothing that I'm missing on 
three tests it looks like I missed an other image so uh, yeah it put three tests so if I look at Dreamweaver go to my footer and yes I don't have the bracket percent the main percent bracket slash underscore all files control s and process it again super simple to fix this stuff really fast tweaks if I hit enter it should already be fixed and there's my footer image right there fixed and ready to go that's it that's all we have to do there's nothing else that needs to be done so now you have you have both doing emoji pro run with the import web page function you have the emoji pro run where you copy and paste I personally prefer doing it copy paste over any other way because I like to keep my source code as simple as possible as clean as possible excuse me I don't like to have a big bundle of crap on my source code I want to make sure it looks nice everything is great and ready to go that's my preferred method next thing is the website that I made for you how to import it and use it with Dreamweaver and the text document readme so the website is right here very simple and straightforward okay you have a header image right here that you can change main thing is you wanna grab the person's attention you wanna answer a question right away you may put one bullet or two bullets I'm just telling people right away for this site how to save money by choosing the correct plumber everyone's fear when they call a plumber is that they're gonna get ripped off so this right there answers a question I've got a video I've got a call to action right here is a phone number that they can call if they want to call right away and you can use the same exact layout change out the images easily changed in Photoshop um, or any paint editor you have the image name you have the files itself so you have the image name you can just create a new file and save it as make make money too right I uploaded all of that to frontlineseo.com slash moji bonus and you can download it there once you download it you're golden you have every single file that you need images the index page the about page the contact page uh, the video you have all the source code easily readable so that you can make any edits that you want to make you see that there's a video here you can go inside of the source code and look and say okay I got the video this is the coding that I want to make I want it to match this coding I want to do the same exact function so there you go okay when you download and unzip the uh, website folder itself I put a readme file in there and make sure you read it because I made sure that you know the four things that should be changed on every page so that you can make sure it's branded for yourself there's no hidden links anywhere else so if you change these four things then you will be perfectly fine you change the footer link um, it's that image that was on the website this is the footer link change that replace the stack counter code uh, change the phone number and the share buttons the share buttons are at the top this row of buttons right here these are linked to a website called share this and just create an account and create your buttons and get them uploaded you grab the code and put it on there exactly where that particular coding is uh, the buttons are right here so you just replace my code with your code no big deal and that's it for the readme text 